Triller Network agreed to pay the veteran producers a total of $18 million. So Timbaland and Swizz claimed right. Triller right. failed to make those payments. They demanded the company cough it up. Um, a Triller spokesperson responded and with the claim that the company already paid over $50 right. million. So we had last covered the Swizz Beats and Timbaland lawsuit. So they basically had been suing versus because it was apparently their idea for the entire show concept. Mm -hmm. And um, and so they had given the idea in exchange for sitting back and collecting their checks. So we're gonna be talking about the update. Um, so they sued Triller back in August. And so after about 18 months, after announcing Triller had acquired the online music service and it was for an undisclosed sum. So at the time, you know, our understanding was that basically they were trying to use this and the verses, the battles, to push traffic over to Triller, the app. But then whatever what happened was obviously it became a you know viral sensation, and we were all watching on Instagram. So according to the lawsuit, Triller Network agreed to pay the veteran producers a total of 18 million by March of 2022 and an additional 1 million every month for the subsequent 10 months. So Timbaland and Swizz claimed. Right. Triller right. failed to make those payments. They demanded the company cough it up. They wanted the $28 million that was allegedly owed. And at the time of the August lawsuit, um, a Triller spokesperson responded and with the claim that the company already paid over $50 right. million in cash and stock to the pair. So but basically, they, they're like, no, they, we don't but, owe the money. Well, no, they said they, said they haven't. They were saying that um, that Timbaland and Swiss Beats haven't fulfilled their contractual obligations by right. having enough stuff. So they were like, "But you know, we're we are paying and we don't we don't owe them anything because they still owe us." Right. So then, before we get to the update, you guys in the chat, how many of you um, watched the versus battles? And then from what we saw, what were your favorites? Now, on our last show, I'm trying to remember what was your kind of standout. Uh, um. There, it's see the thing about the verses. It's it's because they they can be like hit or miss when the actual performance. But even when they're bad, they're still kind of fun. Um, so I mean, I think that you know my some of my personal favorites uh, were like Brandy and Monica. I liked the Keith Sweat one um, uh, versus uh, what was it Bobby Brown? But 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 for different reasons. I mean, they they're both some of my favorite artists. But I enjoyed it for a different reason than maybe they were just phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> like mm -hmm. it was cool. Well, Wasn't there a was... two chains and Rick Ross? So that was one. Uh, Who Chris yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know why I'm blanking out so much on this right now. I like, I literally. That's okay. Watched... We haven't talked about it in a minute. Locks and were... Dipset. Oh my god, Locks and Dipset. That was <laughs> Locks and Dipset. Jesus, that was the uh, that was probably in my top, definitely my top two or three. That was an amazing moment for hip hop. That was definitely one that was for the culture. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing some other ones The the, the fat Joe jaw rule. I remember I I'm not really a fan so much of jaw rule or fat Joe, but that was one that I really liked because it was just such a party. Like you realize how many hits, uh, that those guys had and just like, you know, a lot of them were, a lot of those songs were more, you know, in my, um, in my life more because I was at clubs or something and they'd be playing more so than they were because right. I was playing them. But a lot no, of fun. There was, you know, Swiss Beats and Timbaland. I think they had two There's battles. The so one, yeah, two, in any yeah, case, the there were a ton. So keep dropping your votes. We'll come back to Three, you Three Six Mafia, second. Bone. Yeah. I mean, a, yeah. I'm, yeah. Um, so the quick update. So on Thursday, the parties yeah. announced that they had reached a settlement deal. So Versus has always been a platform that is by the artist, for the artist, and with the people. Swizz and Timbaland said in a statement, we're glad to come to an amicable agreement. <laughs> They're like, you gave us what we wanted, so we're gonna say this to the public with Triller and continue giving fans the music and community yeah. they've always wanted through the exact details. Obviously, we don't get to know that. That is a standard thing, guys. When you have a settlement agreement, there's a confidentiality clause which says no one gets to talk about it. It's um, rare. It's rare you they'll ever say anything about it. And even then, it's just kind of just like speculation. Like they don't ever really come out with the figures so you know look a happy amicable ending and you know hopefully this continues to be beneficial i hope they continue doing it um it's just so fun and i and i have enjoyed these immensely 
Um, so I guess what's our what's our what's our gavel moment? Uh, uh, let's good for all Timberland be friends and, Swiss, and make money. <laughs> yeah, good for Timberland, Swiss beads, and uh, you know I'm I'm excited to see what you guys come up with next. Hey.